Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to the Reckon Smart Vault Document Management and Clamp Portal uh, presentation overview uh, this morning. Um, so we're uh, just waiting for a few more to join us. So we'll uh, run through the content uh, soon enough. But uh, if we uh, uh, apologize for the slight delay, we'll just uh, run for another minute before the way. So thanks for your patience. All right, let's start. So again, welcome to the Reckon Smart Vault Document Management and Client Portal uh, presentation overview. Uh, my name's Sean Locke. I'm the National Sales Manager of the Reckon Business Group. And we've got Tony Tran as well joining me uh, to actually run through the Smart Vault uh, demonstration uh, for you. So just as a, as a way of acknowledging our audience today, uh, what we have is uh, bookkeepers and accountants uh, throughout the country actually joining this presentation. Uh, to obviously gain more information uh, pertaining to document management and client portals uh, for you know for your business or your firms. So um, let's start the presentation with some interesting facts. Um, what I'd like to um, do is share with you, or what we'd like to do is share with you some information uh, which Gartner actually uh, discovered uh, through their surveys of organisations. Uh, so number one. Uh, just think of uh, you as an accountant or a bookkeeper, or indeed if you are a small business joining us today, um, just think about where you're at currently with the massive uh, paperwork, electronic files you have, and then just think again, in two and a half years, that information is going to be at least doubled. Also, in respect to uh, their analysis, um, what uh, Gartner found out was that many accountants and bookkeepers actually spend a massive amount of time uh, reviewing and filing information. In general, uh, or on average, uh, 500 hours uh, per actually employee or professional uh, per, per annum uh, is spent in this area. Another aspect uh, which a typical uh, accountant or a bookkeeper uh, will invest their time in is actually searching for information or say searching for content. So that's 40% of their time actually trying to retrieve, uh, you know, in meaningful information pertaining to their clients, or it could be uh, pertaining to the tax legislation, uh, etc. So 40% of the time searching for information. Interestingly enough, uh, Gartner also found that 8% uh, of all those filed documents which we put away in our filing structures or in our email uh, archives. Uh, is actually lost, and uh, standingly, 60%, 67% of all of that uh, lost content is due to filing errors. So people actually just uh, actually misfiling information, and then gone forever. You can't uh, access or can't find that content ever again. So I just like uh, we'd like for you to to contemplate your firm currently, the the ways and uh, means and the efficiencies you have in place. Uh, to actually access and retrieve content, uh, and also just maybe uh, relate to the you know how how difficult it is for you to find some tax information pertaining to a client uh, if another employee, or if one of your employees actually worked on that. So what do professionals want? Um, in essence, uh, from our own surveys, what they've told us is that they want to have one seamless place to file content, to organise it in a matter in a manner so that you can actually retrieve and search this information uh, in a really efficient way. In fact, put in a streamlined data collection process as well from your clients and a retrieval of that information to make your lives a lot more efficient and more productive. Another big item uh, which a lot of uh, bookkeepers and accounting professionals have said to us is that you would really like to be able to collaborate online and access content online um, wherever you are. So let's just imagine you're actually working in Sydney or Melbourne, um, and then you actually need to see a client, uh, let's say in Toowoomba. Uh, you go to Toowoomba, you want to be able to retrieve that client file online 
when you need to. You don't need, you don't necessarily want to uh, carry all those archive folders. Uh, you want to be able to access that content online and actually go through uh, that information with your client as you need uh, without actually taking a filing cabinet uh, away whilst you're uh, meeting clients on site. Another aspect then really to consider is uh, when we're going to that less paper uh, storage environment is that you really want a risk um, um, reduction in that area. Another area which we speak with many accounts of bookkeepers is that they say they've got a lot of paperwork stored in filing cabinets. What happens if there's a fire in my premises? How do I retrieve that content? What processes or what, what, how do I manage that? So let's imagine um, how, we, how we address that problem and actually uh, make content more available in a risk uh, reduced method. Another aspect that many of our uh, Reckon Accounts uh, partners, uh, bookkeepers and accountants and clients also have said to us is that they would like to be able to become more audit ready. So when the ATO uh, knocks on the door, uh, requests an audit for a particular client case, uh, be able to actually retrieve content pertaining to uh, many uh, transactions uh, relating to your client. Uh, to really streamline that process and be able to respond to the ATO in an efficient manner. So let's talk about Reckon Smart Vault. Essentially, there's three main components to Reckon Smart Vault, uh, which traditionally those small to medium uh, size accounting firms and bookkeepers have actually adopted too. And that's your doc having an online document management, secure uh, document storage available for your firm, for your employees. Uh, but better than that, to be able to collaborate online uh, with your clients in a secure method. Uh, the great thing about the Reckon Smart Vault technology set is that you've got an, uh, you have an ab ability to personalize your client portal with your own very special logo. Uh, your clients get that really lovely feeling of being able to see uh, your presence and to be able to, again, collaborate with you online in a secure method. So just think about Dropbox. Uh, the drop, Dropbox with more security and with uh, your own personalized uh, branding and also fully integrated into your document management store. So a real nice seamless way to actually share content with your clients. Another key aspect then is to actually have these integration points and workflow points uh, to, to actually support the way you actually uh, do your work. So a key component then of integrating your document management is into your email, is into your scanners, is into your client accounting technology sets. There are other uh, technologies as well which we use and which the great thing with SmartVault, it is a real um, brilliant technology set that integrates really well with different technologies uh, which accountants and bookkeepers use around the world. So in essence, what are the accounting and bookkeeper professionals uh, talking to us about? Uh, then clearly, they would, everybody would like to work more efficiently, um, also improve that client service levels, and also introduce or reintroduce more of a, a more effective paperless workflow into their business. So as said, with that portal, uh, that ability to present uh, your firm professionally uh, with your own very own uh, portal, uh, be able to reduce that paper, uh, be able to have that real great paperless workflow which Tony will actually step through in today's presentation. I'll give you a recap as well um, uh, before the demonstration which Tony gives. Uh, but also saving that time and increase productivity and drive efficiencies, sorry, efficiencies in your workflow. We mentioned the collaboration and being able to work anywhere, anytime, access that, sen that sensitive content in many cases, uh, but really getting access to that information so that you can continue working wherever you need to. So another key aspect when you are considering going on online uh, with your documents and your content um, and to share with your clients is to ensure that you've got real great security. So the great thing about uh, SmartVault is that we've got that bank level encryption, authentication, access controls and auditing. So you've got a real secure platform to actually uh, to go online with your clients and, and with your paper documents. The audit ready which we've talked about, the ability to seamlessly attach uh, source documentations to transactions 
in your accounting ledger is going to be a great uh, efficiency gain, a great tool for you to be able to respond to the ATO uh, as, they, as they require. But not only that, for you to be able to check into the source documentation when you need to as a professional when a client has a query. One interesting fact um, uh, which you probably are not aware of which we'd like to share with you is the fact that there's already 11,000 accountants around the world actually using the Smart Vault technology. Um, there's over 350,000 clients uh, are actually integrated in Smart Vault and actually accessing content through the Smart Vault plan platform. So it's a well trusted uh, technology. Uh, in the marketplace, uh, naturally Reckon is introducing it into the Australian marketplace, Australian New Zealand marketplace, as well as overseas. Um, but we and we've had a good run at that of over the last uh, five or six months. So let's talk through uh, an example uh, workflow. In this particular case, this is a bookkeeping workflow, uh, but I'm sure you can relate to this as an accountant as well who, who are attending. So imagine your client has got a, a series of uh, paperwork uh, related to uh, some purchases. Uh, what they would like to do is to actually get that information into their client accounting uh, solution. Uh, so what they do is actually scan that documentation or indeed take a photo of that documentation, put it into a Smart Vault inbox uh, or watch folder. That watch folder or inbox actually picks up that content and us as professionals, bookkeepers and accountants get alerted that that content's in that, uh, in that folder. We can review that content uh, pertaining to your client uh, matter and actually process that invoice. So let's say you're a bookkeeper, you've got that invoice, you process it in your Reckon Accounts file um, and actually put it into Reckon Accounts and attach it to the source uh, or the transaction, that source document to that transaction. Uh, then what you do is actually pay uh, that bill in uh, at the required time frame. Uh, you send that client uh, or that supplier invoice uh, as a paid invoice back to the client so that they know it's been paid. They're fully across that. Uh, lo and behold, the actual your client has actually decided to uh, return those goods or that service uh, and actually requested a, a credit note. Uh, so I guess the cycle starts all over again. So that's an example workflow of how we can interact with our clients, collect that source information, process it, uh, enrich uh, our Reckon Accounts file, for instance, or a client accounting file, attach the source documentation to be audit ready, and then be nimble to actually respond to your client when they've uh, returned the goods back and then raise, uh, then request the credit note uh, refund and again go through the cycle. So again, this can happen many, many times uh, and this is just an example workflow. We're sure there are other workflows uh, which are related uh, to you as well. So that's a very, very brief overview of the Reckon Smart Vault uh, solution set. Um, we appreciate it is a very high, a reasonably high level. Uh, Tony will give you a product presentation overview. Uh, Tony uh, won't necessarily go into all the detail. Uh, we certainly have training sessions to cover all the detail on how to use Smart Vault. Our real goal today is to share with you uh, some information about what other accountants and bookkeepers are achieving already in their, in their firm, uh, to give you a flavor of what Smart Vault can do, and then for you to get more information uh, as you need it. Um, so later on, as you'll see, there is an opportunity, opportunity to request more information and indeed if you do want a further product demonstration, more detailed, more deep dive, then we can run through that with you. So what I'd like to do next is hand over uh, to Tony to actually run through the demonstration and then I'll rejoin you uh, to wrap up the presentation. So thank you.
Thanks, Sean. Hi, everyone. Uh, it's Tony here. So we're going to start off uh, with the actual Smart Vault uh, portal here, uh, as you can see in front of your screen. So let's uh, let's talk about the actual Vault hierarchy that's available um, for you to actually create. So first off, um, we're going to actually you're going to actually create um, the actual folder hierarchy. Um, depending on what your requirements are, it's very versatile in terms of how you can create that. But from talking to a lot of um, bookkeepers and accountants, uh, their preferred method is to basically create uh, a vault um, to represent per, like each client of theirs, and underneath the actual vault have um, subfolders where the actual documents are uploaded. Again, this this is just a sample. Okay, so as you can see, BAS, cover letter, financial reports, invoice, and tax returns. Um, so once you've got the actual client hierarchy set up, um, the next step is to basically collaborate with your client um, by sharing the actual uh, vault or the folders um, accordingly. So in this example, I'm just going to actually show you simply how to share, um, for example, Amstrad builders uh, with them. So you simply right click, click on access and notification settings. Okay, this dialog box here just basically gives you an overview of who currently has access and what they can do. Obviously, I've got access and I've got full control to the actual vault. And here we click on Add User. You select the license type as client. Again, it, the actual uh, license comes with unlimited client licenses, uh, which means yeah, you can create as many uh, of these licenses as you wish. Uh, you put in their email address, first and last name. Basically, give them the access settings that you that you wish. So at the moment, it's only got read. You can give them full access or read, write, create, or delete. Okay. Another brilliant feature about the sharing is the notification settings that you can enable uh, once shared. So what this does is pretty much any time when the client views the file, um, downloads, or uploads to the folder, if they have access to, um, you will get an email notification to let you know um, what what's pretty much going on. So let me show you an example of that. So if I go into my uh, inbox, okay. Say for example, this is the the actual client. Once you've actually shared a file with them, uh, they will receive a document, uh, an email. Pretty much that. So you, what Sean was saying, personalising uh, the actual client portal. You can add your logo, okay, and the content of your email. So this is basically saying uh, we've shared Amstrad Builders with you, um, and it provides a link for them to actually click into. So once the client clicks into the actual link, as you can see, um, the logo is there. Uh, you can customize the colors to match your logo, okay? And they only have access to Amstrad Builders, where the subfolders are available. So we click into, say, for example, Baz. We can preview the actual file as well. Okay, again, this is just a sample. Um, they have the option to actually download. Um, again, if they have uh, permissions to actually download the file, um, edit and upload it back, you might notice there's a V1 here. Okay, so basically what this means is SmartBulb keeps a version history of the documents that are stored. So if they've downloaded this document and they've edited it, and then, then upload it, re-upload it into the same folder, what happens is there will be a version 2 to state that um, they've made changes. So you can always rev click on version 1 and revert back to what it looked like before. OK, um, let's go back to the inbox here. And I was talking about the notification settings uh, earlier. So when a client actually clicks into a folder that you've given them access to, you will receive a notification setting. Basically, it just looks like that, okay? So it tells you, okay, um, uh, the client has actually downloaded uh, BAS PDF on this date. So it gives you a log of um, exactly what's what's happening. 
Okay, so um, obviously over time, uh, your client base will, will increase and um, the most important thing about that is you'll have clients uh, like coming in, downloading, uploading. So you would want to actually try and keep track of that to know exactly what's going on. So what you can do with that is um, SmartBolt comes with an inbuilt uh, audit trail or also known as an activity log where you can actually generate um, according to, well, let's go back to May, to subfolders. And this will actually tell you um, what's going on here. Again, yes, um, it's only me um, for this example. So it tells you uh, who logged in, okay, um, at what date and time, what they did. So rename and vault, add members to group, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the name of the file that they've actually made the edit to. And this report can be uh, exported to Excel as well to obviously attach to an email to send it to who is required. Also, um, along with keeping track as well, uh, obviously over time you'll have a lot of documents that will get uploaded. There is also a search feature that you can actually use to search up documents. For example, uh, let's search up invoices inside Amstrad Builders, or just say invoice, and search. and it'll come up with whatever you've searched for the word there. Okay, so um, that pretty much uh, sums up the folder hierarchy and the sharing. Uh, it's, it's quite straightforward, as you can see. It also comes uh, to be pretty much, uh, I would say, idiot proof. Um, say if you've accidentally deleted uh, a document or you've given access to someone that has accidentally deleted a document, there is a recycling bin here. It works exactly like a Windows recycling bin where the actual documents will get deleted, but you have the option to actually restore the document. Um, only the account holder or the administrator has the option to delete the uh, documents permanently. Okay, so that's um, pretty much the pretty much sums up the actual uh, online portal. Um, what I'm going to talk to you about now is a smart smart bolt integration. So it has uh, a few feet, like it has a lot of features in terms of integration, as you can see on the right hand side here. Um, it integrates with uh, a few of the online. Uh, accounting packages as well, so FreshBooks, um, Intuit QuickBooks, and also Xero, okay. Um, a very uh, a very powerful feature is the actual uh, desktop integration with Windows, as it gives you uh, the option to map a drive to directly to your Smart Vault uh, online portal. As you can see, you've got all the, the vaults and folders here. Obviously, it shows you as folders because it's using the File Explorer in the Windows format. Um, a lot of users tend to actually create all their folder hierarchies and everything within the actual drive um, because it's just easier as they're more familiar with the cut, copy, and paste uh, shortcut keys. Uh, in addition to the actual drive, uh, you've got an Outlook add-on as well. So it gives you an extra key button on the top toolbar here that allows you to upload uh, emails and attachments straight to SmartVault. Okay, and those of you who are using uh, Reckon Accounts, it also um, includes a toolbar uh, where you can actually attach uh, documents uh, straight to transactions, not only transactions, you can attach them to um, items or even add notes to the actual home page as well. Uh, once it loads in, you'll see what I'm talking about.
So on the right hand side here, uh, you'll see three three icons here. Uh, attach. Uh, there's a folder. So this pretty much tells you how many documents are attached to that particular transaction or area, and you can obviously uh, select and input notes as well. So let's click on attach. So there's three options for you to attach documents uh, to Reckon accounts. So one, you can actually use um, the supported scanners um, to scan a document straight into Smart Vault or straight into Reckon accounts. You can browse the actual uh, the desktop or the machine locally to attach uh, files to transactions. And again, um, it does. There's no limit in terms of file format, so you can upload and attach any sort of file. If you can obtain it in soft copy form, you can attach it. Uh, the inbox, so this is the Smart Vault inbox. So if you've previously uploaded a file into Smart Vault and you wish to just retrieve it from the Smart Vault portal and attach it into Reckon accounts, uh, this button here will give you access to that. Um, let's go back. Okay, uh, and also the actual uh, smartphone integration to smart devices. So uh, iPhone, um, Android devices, there's an app you can actually download for Smart Vault that allows you to um, uh, view files, move files, delete files, and also using the actual camera phone, you can take photos and upload them straight into uh, Reckon accounts. Uh, that's pretty much uh, the, the overview of, uh, the, of Smart Vault. Uh, what I'll do now is um, I'll hand it over to Sean. Thank you, Tony. So we'll just uh, wrap up the uh, presentation right now. Um, a little bit more information for you to to digest. Again, just a this is a just summary information for you to contemplate, uh, and then for you to to possibly request more information as you as you feel appropriate. So let's just talk through some of the Smart Vault plans and 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 that further information. Um, so it is suitable for those accountants, bookkeepers, and consultants. Um, I've aimed uh, in introducing Smart Vault into the Australian New Zealand marketplace um, was to actually introduce it into those smaller, medium-sized accounting firms and bookkeepers. Uh, we do have a larger accounting uh, technology set uh, for uh, uh, enterprise-level um, document management, and that's called Virtual Cabinet, which some of you may have heard of. Um, in respect to uh, you as being a, a, an accountant or a, an accounting firm or a bookkeeper, you can, with one license of Reckon Smart Vault, you can actually integrate into 10 Reckon account company files. Uh, you can give access to unlimited clients to be able to use some of the Smart Vault uh, functionality, which we'll cover uh, shortly. Uh, so the effect they can actually be invited into your portal uh, and actually obtain uh, that inbox where you can share and collaborate uh, with content. Uh, they have a toolbar um, uh, which will cover off um, individually and, and it says the, the actual portal as well. For business, uh, then we do have many, uh, many thousands of small business actually using Smart Vault in their everyday business. So if you're a, a professional partner uh, on the line or an accredited partner on the line of Reckon, uh, which you, uh, most of you will be, uh, there is an opportunity actually to in introduce Smart Vault into your client base. Uh, so, there is, so if you'd like to do that, then uh, maybe let us know in your feedback at the end in the survey. Uh, but in essence, small business can benefit from uh, Smart Vault also. A great collaboration uh, system, uh, document management system, uh, for them to run their affairs in a very effective way and to collaborate with their client base also. So you can think of maybe uh, somebody in the building industry uh, that may have architectural plans, they may have subcontractors, uh, they may have their accountants, they may have their clients, they want to share that uh, content, uh, Smart Vault would be an effective way to actually collaborate with all those parties and actually for that building firm to, to work efficiently and in case uh, 
access that content remotely when they're on site, maybe in their development. Uh, it could be again in Queensland, but their head office is in uh, Melbourne. You do have five Smart Vault administrator licenses with that business uh, with that business edition, and they can integrate with two Reckon Accounts files. Uh, so in some instances, let's say that building firm has a trading entity, they may also have a trust, uh, which they want to store documents into the trust as well. Uh, again, we give them that access uh, to file that content there. So for, for what's available, uh, in summary, um, there is that branded portal, the integration with the Reckon accounts, the mobile app on your smartphone. You've, uh, Tony mentioned and showed you uh, in Microsoft Outlook uh, that plugin, that beautiful uh, technology of that recycle bin. Uh, so you can actually secure your content and make sure that nothing's lost and you've got control of people deleting that content. You have got that audit trail that, uh, with the version history and that full text search. That scan to cloud, that watch folder or inbox, uh, be able to uh, trade information in a seamless fashion uh, with your clients, not actually sending sensitive content through email, but actually attaching a, a link to that content, for example, so really minimising and complying with, uh, you know, where the legislation is going. Certainly in the UK, already you're you're not uh, allowed to send sensitive financial information pertaining to your clients by email. Uh, smart Vault's a great uh, technology set where we can use the Smart Vault inbox or indeed link by email, uh, where they, you know, you're collaborating and not. Uh, you know, uh, introducing files in that email where people can in, intercept and maybe get, gain sensitive financial information pertaining to your clients. Those email notifications, so every time a client actually pops in that information into your watch folder, you get alerted. Uh, so you can interact uh, very quickly with your clients uh, in a way that you, you know, you can see the content coming in and you can respond accordingly. The great fact is that you can, uh, as we talked about, is to introduce it to all your client base. Surely as, as professionals, uh, as we all work in a, in a control uh, manner, we'd pilot uh, the Smart Vault technology uh, with cer certain client sets, get familiar with it, get uh, familiar, iron out the creases, uh, have our employees up to speed with the technology and start getting really productive and then roll it out throughout the client base. So that document management throughout the client base and the client portal. Um, the map drive is an interesting one and I think we can all relate to and many of us have been using that Windows file uh, structure mechanism of storing content. So literally we can adopt that process. We don't really have to learn too much new. So we can actually uh, store uh, content into the Windows file structure as we have been doing for probably the last 15, 20 years. We can adopt that process. It automatically goes into online um, and you can access that content online. Interestingly enough, many of you will already have that content on that filing structure. We could uplift that existing content and actually mirror that information, that mirror that uh, structure you already have and put it into SmartFold. So really a very good change management process and, and being able to migrate your content as well. So I think Tony, uh, Tony's certainly been working with a lot of accountants and bookkeepers on that, uh, being effectively being able to migrate their content in a, in a real uh, effective manner. Now something for you as uh, Reckon Partners then, uh, what we'd like to do is to, for you, we'd like to encourage you to actually pilot the technology uh, to make sure you're uh, comfortable with it, uh, that you like the technology and that you can adopt to the technology. And as a way of a sweetener and as a loyal Reckon partner of over many, many years, uh, we're also very keen to introduce uh, a, a great prospective offer for you, a 30% uh, uh, reduction in price of the recommended retail price for life for Smart Vault for you as being Reckon partners. So, what we'd like to do now is round off the presentation. Uh, we do have a post-webinar survey uh, where you could, if you could kindly respond to that survey, if you would like to obtain the trial, if you would like to consider to become a reseller of Smart Vault to your client base, uh, popping that information into the survey. If you would like a more in-depth presentation uh, for us to run through, 
uh, we're more than happy to do that. Uh, but so please fill in the survey. Uh, we'll circulate that amongst the team and uh, I reckon um, uh, employee, a person will contact you back and actually step through your requirements, uh, step through what you would like to achieve and then talk about how we can introduce Smartfall if that is the right uh, technology for you to adopt. So really like you uh, to thank you for spending the time this morning. We hope the information has been useful. Uh, we do value your feedback, so please uh, uh, complete the survey. Uh, we'll get back to you and enjoy your, uh, the rest of the day, and we look forward to uh, further conversation with you. So thank you very much.